Troy Slater. Today on Wholesome Histories, we are talking to the one, the only, Johnny Gash, drummer for the exciting modern metal band, Whores of Khan. Stay tuned for some insights into some incredible techniques, equipment, and general banter. Johnny Gash. Good afternoon. And how are you doing today? Good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. So, today we've been filming you uh, putting down some incredible drum parts for your latest Horse of Khan um, project. <clears throat> Care to tell us a little bit more of your setup here? Yeah. I would love to tell all you guys what then I Then please do. Okay, so what we've got here is... Starting with the drums, we've got a Star Classic Maple Shell 24 by 16. 24 by 16. Courtesy of the studio, because that's the bass drum of the studio. Mm -hmm. Here we have a very nice six and a half inch brass Black Beauty snare drum. Black Beauty. It's got a fantastic, uh, fantastic ring on. It's got on a fantastic near. Uh, yeah. And a little bit of moon gel to kill some of the kill some of the sound. Moon gel. We've got a 10 by 10 Maple Masters custom tom. In fact, all the toms are the same. So it's 90s Maple Masters custom. So what that is, that's four thin plies of maple with the reinforcement ring. And that is the original um, Maple Masters recipe from the mid 90s. So we've got a 10. 10x10, 10 12x10, 10, 16 x 16 and actually this one is a Star Classic Maple. Uh, it's the kind of, it's related to the bass drums and that's 18 by 16 And they've all got Remo Clear Emperors on, which means that's like a double thickness head. And that one that's got an Evans one on, probably because he likes to save a quid or two here and there because they're slightly cheaper. Symbols, we have a 14 inch 2002 Master Sound hi-hat, that's with the wavy edge on the bottom like a clamshell. We see that. Uh, basically it makes it slightly louder. Then here we've got a... Um, we've got a thin 19 Crash, also 2002. Moving along here we've got a Paste Splash 10 inch Rude series and a newbie on the block. It is a 14 inch Blast China. That's China. Made in Switzerland. But it's 18 Thin Crash 2002. We've got 20 inch rides, just a regular ride. Actually, a bit of a deep purple type of sound type ride, but nice little bit of a wash. And here we've got a Novo China 20 inch, also 2002. Uh, here we get to the exciting little extra touches that you get only with the Horse of Khan. Big band um, LP cowbell. It's, anyway, it's quite a deep cowbell. It's quite it's got quite a big tape. deep. So to kill some of the ring, we've had to put a bit of tape on it and uh, attach one of my gloves to it to kill some of ah, the ring. Ah, the old uh, attach the glove technique. Yes, the old like that. stuff something around it mm -hmm, to kill mm -hmm. it. And then we've got <clears throat> here on this side a little hi-hat jingle. Mini symbols. Yeah, it's just a little uh, little jingle to add a little bit more feel to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's what we've got. I won't bore you with what sticks I use. Please I, bore us with which sticks no, you use. No, I'm not going to tell you that. Everyone's got to have some secrets, I'm not going to. Because it's just such a boring question. So that's it, and what about yeah, pedals then? As we've discussed, we've got this nice uh, zebra rug pedals. Uh, well, zebra this, rug pedals. I've got this very nice two-leg, top of the range pearl hi hat stand, um, and then we've got these Axis longboard twenty-one pedals. Um, maybe a bit overkill on the pedals, not strictly necessary for this, but I've got used to playing them recently because I've been practicing on them so I thought you know what 
I'll just breathe. The song that we're working on at the moment, can you tell us a little bit more of the inspiration behind this song? The inspiration for this song is really about getting out uh, living life, trying something new, pushing yourself a little bit beyond your comfort zone, just to make you, you know, realize you're alive. And, like, do something, do something that gets your heart racing. Don't do something that you've never done before. Um, you know, because otherwise, well, you're just doing what you've done before, aren't you? You try something exciting. Uh, like being in this band, that's quite exciting. Although we've been doing that for quite a long time now, and it, still doesn't get boring. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, um, push yourself, go surfing, jump out of a plane. If you, yeah, just live life, you know, just enjoy it. Enjoy life. Yeah. <laughs>